While most buildings remain the same over time, the needs of people who live in them change. Buildings house growing families, aging parents, and people with disabilities. Good building design can address this diversity. It can provide comfort and convenience for everyone. Can buildings be designed so that they are accessible and usable by everyone? Yes, they can, through universal design. This video program will show how current laws improve the accessibility and usability of housing for everyone. It will demonstrate the impact of those laws, explain how universal design benefits everyone, even those who don't have a disability, and introduce design features and products that can help achieve universal access in the kitchen. In 1988, Congress passed the Fair Housing Amendments to the Civil Rights Act of 1968. These amendments were intended to ensure that all new multifamily housing built for first occupancy on or after March 13, 1991 will provide a basic level of accessibility. There are seven requirements for complying with the law. The first requirement is an accessible building entrance on an accessible route. The second requirement is to provide accessible and usable public and common use areas. The third requirement is usable doors. The fourth requirement is an accessible route into and through the dwelling unit. The fifth is environmental controls in accessible locations. The sixth is reinforced walls for grab bars. The last is usable kitchens and bathrooms. By following these guidelines, designers can create more enabling environments. This is the essence of universal design. It's about making products and environments safe and easy to use for everyone, regardless of age, ability, or user preferences. Universal designs do this without the need for special adaptations and devices. Marketability and consumer acceptance are also important aspects of universal design. Designs that everyone can use will increase the general appeal of products. By providing universal solutions, manufacturers can serve a broader market efficiently. This increases product value and reduces costs associated with low volume specialty products. Consumers appreciate good design. It's a great sink. I think the whole kitchen is great because I could raise this thing to a level where it could be comfortable for my back and not have the pressure of having to bend to do dishes. Increasing numbers of older people and people with disabilities are making housing purchases. Meeting their needs has become a marketing challenge. Kitchens must be adaptable to many needs. Not only are they places to cook and eat, but also places to work and socialize. The modern kitchen has become one of the most important rooms in the home. But the average kitchen can be a foreboding place for someone with a disability. Very small clearances, inaccessible workspace, and poor access to appliances limit usability. Larger kitchens are generally more accessible but space is not the only issue. Counters may be too high, light switches or outlets hard to reach, plumbing fixtures and appliances difficult or dangerous to operate, and access to storage limited. Innovative products and design strategies can address the needs of all people and create truly universal environments. In order to illustrate how the Fair Housing Accessibility Guidelines improve accessibility and increase usability, we conducted a series of demonstrations to compare fair housing designs to typical kitchen layouts. We built two model kitchens. Volunteers were asked to demonstrate each in a standard way. We asked them to open the refrigerator, use the sink, use the counter workspace, use the cabinets, operate the range and oven, and use the dishwasher. We also asked them to demonstrate many products that make kitchens easier to use. We videotaped their demonstrations 
And when they were done, we asked them what they liked or disliked about each of the products and designs. Well, the sink itself, you have the opportunity of raising it up and down. That's a good thing because, like I said, with me having a bad back, I can bring it up to what's comfortable for me. I don't have to bend to wash dishes. Um, it's just a nice setup altogether. We also held several focus groups and obtained their opinions about the different features of kitchens. The next part of this program shows what we learned. Wheelchair users have many problems in conventional kitchens, particularly when using fixtures and appliances. This small galley-style kitchen is similar to kitchens in many affordable apartments. It illustrates some typical problems. With only 36 inches between the two counters, the clear space in front of each fixture is reduced to a bare minimum. Fixtures and appliances are very close together. This creates conflicts between workers and limited access to work areas. Turning a wheelchair in this kitchen is impossible. The limited aisle space restricts access to appliances. People with disabilities aren't the only ones who find this design difficult to use. To address these problems, the Fair Housing Guidelines have requirements for the layout of kitchen fixtures and clear floor spaces. This guarantees a minimum level of wheelchair accessibility. The guidelines require 40 inches between counters and clear floor spaces in front of the sink, range, and cooktop to allow a parallel approach by a person in a wheelchair. Clearances are also required for a parallel or forward approach at counter workspaces and other appliances. When the kitchen is U-shaped with a sink or cooktop at the base of the U and there are no knee spaces for a forward approach, the minimum aisle space between counters must be 60 inches. These changes significantly increase a wheelchair user's access to appliances and fixtures in the kitchen. Appliance doors are less of a problem as well. The clear space in front provides enough room to easily open and close the doors. More space means more convenience for everyone. Thus, the fair housing guidelines generally result in good kitchen design. While the guidelines provide a minimum level of accessibility and convenience for all, many more issues must be addressed to make truly universal kitchens. This sometimes means rethinking traditional kitchen design strategies. Countertop workspaces are a basic component of a kitchen. When they are poorly designed, counters can be a real barrier to usability. Counters are often at the wrong height for many tasks. This is particularly true for people who need to sit while working. Seated access to countertop workspaces is usually hampered by the base cabinets underneath. Seated users are forced to lean forward or work from the side. There are many solutions to these problems. For example, lowering countertops is a common strategy to provide accessibility for seated people. But for some people, Certain tasks like washing dishes or cutting vegetables can require higher countertops. Optional countertop heights support a multitude of kitchen tasks. They reduce bending and back strain for most ambulant users, as well as provide alternatives for people with disabilities. This cabinet system has stackable drawer units to allow easy changes in countertop heights. Adjustable counters are another way to vary height. An individualized work surface can be provided by adding a hand crank or motorized lift mechanism. This application is useful if several people in the home need different heights to work at the same counter. The Fair Housing Guidelines require at minimum space for parallel approaches to countertop work surfaces. But parallel approaches are not ideal. By removing base cabinets, a knee space can be created to allow a forward approach. Forward approaches provide much better access to any work surface for seated users. Using the counter area is easier and much safer. 
Knee spaces also allow easier and safer access to cooktops, the oven, and the dishwasher. These openings also provide a space to store wheeled servers. They can be placed in the most convenient spot when preparing or serving meals, and then moved under the counter when not being used. Heat-resistant surfaces adjacent to ranges and ovens provide landing areas for hot items, allowing safer use of appliances. Continuous counters between related work centers eliminates the need to carry heavy items. And spill-proof edges help keep liquids on the countertop for easy cleanups. Each workspace should have good illumination. Adjustable and adaptable lighting aids visibility. Contrasting colors and non-reflective surfaces are also desirable. They all help to reduce accidents and improve convenience. Good planning and innovative products make counter workstations safer and easier to use by many different people. Storage is always at a premium in the kitchen. Not only does there never seem to be enough, we often have a problem reaching what we do have. People with disabilities or those whose height is outside the norm are at a real disadvantage. Large portions of available storage are inaccessible to them. Hard to reach storage can pose a safety risk. It doesn't matter whether it's in the upper or lower cabinets. Other problems with storage can also affect accessibility. Inappropriate hardware, poor lighting in poorly organized space, Tight clearances and small toe kicks can make it difficult to store or retrieve items. Sometimes access to cabinets can be hampered by poor kitchen planning. Research shows that storage should be concentrated and organized within 24 inches to 48 inches above the finished floor. This makes the stored items easy to see and reach for most people. Wall cabinets can be installed as base cabinets to provide more usable storage under counters. They are not as deep, and more storage space is at a higher level. They also create an alternate higher counter area. A pantry cabinet provides the most usable storage area. Accessories like sliding shelf trays or racks will improve both accessibility and visibility. Adjustability can also be a good solution. This modular wall-hung storage system provides alternative storage heights without moving parts. The lightweight cabinets make the system easy to relocate. Motorized systems can bring upper cabinets within reach of the countertop at the touch of a button. This one has a built-in safety switch to stop the cabinet whenever it encounters an obstacle. Manual systems are available as well. This product uses a counterweighted spring device. It helps anyone, particularly people of short stature and those who use wheelchairs. Accessories can also improve ordinary base cabinets. Sliding racks give users full access to items that are usually hard to retrieve. Rotating storage systems can provide full access to corner spaces. This type of Lazy Susan with a central rather than a corner rotation point is most efficient. Racks on the backs of doors can be used to store smaller items conveniently. Easy to grip door and drawer hardware will increase the accessibility of kitchen cabinets. People with arthritis or other grip limitations find these D poles much easier to use than knobs. Unique hinge supports will allow bifold doors to be folded flat against the cabinet, increasing maneuvering clearances for wheelchairs. All of these products make it possible to adapt storage to individual needs. Not only are they beneficial for people with disabilities, they have universal appeal. The kitchen sink is often a place we love to hate. We spend a lot of time working at the sink, at physically stressful tasks. Knee space and visibility are important design issues for sinks. Sink controls are often hard to operate. Many people with grip problems find them difficult and painful to use. As with other countertop workspace, lower sinks with knee spaces are preferable for people who use wheelchairs. Locating the drain at the side or rear provides greater knee clearance. It moves plumbing and garbage disposals out of the way. Height adjustability is possible with motorized lift systems. 
A shallow bowl is better for everyone. People standing do not have to bend over as far when doing dishes. Pull-out sprays provide flexibility and convenience. They also reduce the need for bending and lifting. Plumbing shrouds or pipe insulation must be provided to prevent burns and other injuries. Single lever handles are easy to grip and adjust. A faucet also can be mounted at the side of the sink to make it easier to reach. Some lever handles are confusing, however. Despite being easy to manipulate, this one is hard to understand because the left-right motion controls volume and the forward-back motion controls temperature, exactly the opposite of the conventional single lever design. A sink with universal design features adds lasting value to the kitchen by empowering many users. The range and oven are the two most dangerous appliances in the kitchen. Ranges are one of the most inconvenient appliances for people who use wheelchairs. Getting close to the work surface is vital for safe use. This range has burner and oven controls located at the front of the unit so that reaching over is unnecessary. Controls should be clearly marked with large contrasting numbers and letters. Graphics should also be large and easy to read. Smart controls that save steps and provide feedback enhance safety and convenience. Remote locations for exhaust hood controls are also desirable. Range hoods can be wired to a switch on the counter to make access easier. Ranges are appealing cooking devices because of their relatively low cost. However, standard range heights are usually too high for seated work. Their ovens also require bending, which is difficult for many. Cooktops are more versatile than ranges. They can be built with knee spaces to allow a front approach for a person using a wheelchair. And they can be installed at any height. Wall ovens reduce the need to bend and lift. It is easier to see what's cooking as well. Universal design features at the range improve accessibility and safety for all. Many of the same accessibility issues that apply to dry storage units also apply to refrigerators. Insufficient maneuvering clearances and door swings can make refrigerators very hard to approach. Upper freezer compartments are sometimes totally inaccessible. Seeing and reaching stored items and adjusting the temperature controls can also be a problem. Side-by-side -side refrigerators are often easier for children and people who use wheelchairs because all types of storage are within reach and the doors are smaller. Adjacent knee space can help give access to a standard refrigerator. The ideal shelves are retractable, clear, and have spill-proof edges. They improve visibility for everyone and are easier to clean. These split shelves can accommodate large and heavy items in a more flexible way. Water and ice dispensers provide access without having to open the doors. Modular shelving systems on doors allow consumers to organize frequently used items in a way that is best for them. Universal design features for refrigerators are clearly beneficial to everyone. clearances, access to the interior, and use of the controls are the important concerns in dishwasher selection. All built-in dishwashers have retractable racks, but adjacent knee spaces help those who can't stand. Dishwashers that are raised higher off the floor provide easier access to dishes inside without much bending. The higher countertop can be used for tasks that are more comfortable to do at that level. Controls should have high contrast graphics. Audible feedback helps everyone use the appliance, particularly people with visual disabilities. As we have seen, good design can make kitchens more usable for everyone. The Fair Housing Accessibility Guidelines provide minimum clearances and arrangements for access, an important aspect of universal design. But to achieve true universal design, it is important to go beyond the guidelines. When planning the kitchen layout, provide knee spaces under work surfaces, adjacent to storage cabinets and appliances. Enough clear floor space for someone using a wheelchair or walker 
or more than one person to work efficiently. And electrical controls, switches and receptacles located in easy to reach places. When designing the countertop work surfaces, include enough counter space near appliances and storage to transfer items easily. A spill-proof countertop edge that contrasts in color. Task lighting for better visibility. And optional and or adjustable work surface heights. When planning kitchen storage systems, include storage at optional heights and adaptable storage systems. Storage options within a comfortable reach range between 24 inches and 48 inches above the floor or mechanical devices that bring storage within that range. Accessories to reduce bending and reaching like sliding shelves, racks and drawers or products like this innovative vertical drawer cabinet that enhances access. Storage systems that offer high visibility and exposure. When selecting appliances and fixtures, consider including a side-by-side -side refrigerator that brings both freezer and refrigerator within easy reach, a raised dishwasher to minimize bending, high contrast, low glare fixtures and task illumination, a shallow sink that minimizes bending and maximizes knee space with the drain at the rear for increased knee clearance controls that are easy to see and grip and that have logical operation. By following the Fair Housing Accessibility Guidelines and adopting universal design strategies, designers, developers and builders can create safe and effective kitchen designs that will attract everyone, whether they are young, old, have a disability or simply appreciate greater convenience.